Hi, my name is Jennifer, and um, I started hashtag take down Julian Blank. And how this all started was on a Saturday night, as usual, I was going through Tumblr. Um, just I follow a lot of social justice blogs and other random shit. And I stumbled across this video, which is in Japanese, and it's uh, disgusting. It's about this white guy hitting on, if you can even call that, Asian woman. It's um, it shows him forcing random Japanese women's heads into his crotch and saying Pikachu, Pikachu all the time. And later on in the video, you see him um, in a seminar classroom full of men telling them um, how to do this and how they can get away with it. And you can hear the guys giggling at his very racist um, jokes on how all you have to do is to say Tamagotchi, Pokemon, Pikachu to dispel the tensions. So... Each video, I mean, each second that I watched this was more horrifying than next. And then after I watched it, I was just so fucking pissed off. I was like, if this guy ever touches me and puts my head down on his dick like that and yells Pikachu at me, I would fucking whip out a taser and go Pikachu on his motherfucking dick. But that's besides the point. I mean, these women didn't know um, what was going on and we, you know, the responsibility shouldn't be on the woman. It should be on these nasty ass men. And it really pissed me off because it was just like, this guy, how dare he violate these Asian women's spaces? How dare he violate these women's spaces and then pass these disgusting views and methods on to other men? This crusty piece of mayonnaise, he is in essence assaulting women and getting away with it. And not only is he getting away with it, he is being rewarded for it. He has a following of pathetic fanboys who um, try to pick up his... Um, methods and I just couldn't believe that this guy was videotaping himself assaulting women and getting away with it without impunity and that's when I was like I need to I don't it was just like this rage at 2 a.m. at on a Saturday night and um I just started tweeting away and started like I'm gonna fucking hashtag take down Julian Blank um, I mean, I didn't know if I was gonna be able to do anything, but I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna try it anyway. And what is messed up about this guy's behavior is that one, he knows that what he's doing is wrong because he says in his video, I, um, didn't know how much I was getting away, how much, um, I could get away with. And you don't say I'm going to get away with something if you don't think that what you're doing is wrong. Second of all, he is perpetuating, um, this type of behavior and teaching other men that it's okay to do this. He's not some weeaboo lurk lurking in um, like the forums. He is actively advocating for this type of disgusting behavior. And third of all, he's perpetuating the idea that Asian women are basically free for all for these type of pe for these type of predators, and that it's okay to harass us on the street. He emboldens men to approach Asian women and harass us, and that it's okay to act out on your sick Asian fetish fantasy and that you can act out these power fantasies on us. Um, and I don't think I have to explain why grabbing my head and saying Pikachu Pokemon Tamagotchi is extremely inappropriate and racist. Men like him create problems for women like me because they can't tell what type of Asian I am, okay? I'm just yellow to them. And they see somebody Asian and then they're just like, okay, I'm gonna try out this guy's methods and I don't... It, it's hard to being a woman and just being harassed on a day to day basis but, uh, with street harassment. But when you're a woman of color, you get racialized um, harassment. Okay, and I don't need guys getting shitty ideas to harass people who look like me because they watched this guy's video. Um, so um, I saw some more um, information about this guy on Tumblr. So then I started looking him up, doing more research, and I just made, need to make sure there were repercussions to his actions. Um, so, and then I started looking, uh, reaching out to as many people as I could and it just kind of snowballed and um, kind of just got uh, got a lot bigger than I thought it ever would. And it, I mean, it's been wonderful that um, Como Hotels has decided to, um, has decided to take down his seminar and hopefully the hotels that are hosting the other um, seminars from uh, RSD, which is real uh, social dynamics will follow suit and make sure that they're not hosting um, these sessions where in essence men are being taught how to harass and abuse women. I mean he and this is a guy that I can't just you know 
dismiss because he has a following. They, ch I mean, RSD, Real Social Dynamics, the the group that um, that he works for, charges one thousand three thousand dollars for these pickup boot camps where men will go into um, these hotels and then learn these methods. At first, it's like almost pathetic. The community, if you go with the websites, they have things that says develop panty dropping masculinity with this rock salad structure to self generate the powerful emotions girls crave. Like. It just sounds ludicrous, but you can't dismiss it because he has like 45,000 subscribers on YouTube and he he has an over 9,000 fans on Facebook. People like him, like usually they're just lurkers and they're just usually men's rights activists that don't really do anything. But what makes him dangerous is that he acts out on it. And that is what bothered the hell out of me, is that he's teaching other people how to do this. He's perpetuating this toxic masculinity, this racism, this sexism, and it is completely disgusting. And in addition to this nasty video of him basically assaulting um, Japanese women, um, he also has other crappy things. Um, it, there's a... He also capitalizes on like the Asian toxic masculinity in some of his videos. And there's things that says, you know, he has videos with horrible titles like how to control girls' emotions and make them do anything. And, um, and the thing is, when I tried to find accountability for this guy, I knew that RSD was not going to fire him. Because the people at this group, like, worship him. They are his fanboys. Like, they circle jerk each other. There's a video called uh, My Girlfriend Passed Away, The Twist of Humor That Inevitably um, Knifes Through to Her Panties. And this is um, a video of Julian and one of his uh, co-workers, I guess, um, co-pickup artists. And one of the things he asks is like, you enjoy the validation, um, what would you say motivates you? And, you know, Julian says like, I think it's an art form, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, like he's like, you know, sucking his own dick. But um, his friend says like, he's in, it in the, he's in it for the joy of the game itself. And by the end of it, the girl cries, the girl laughs. She says she's in love with him. She says that she could die for him. And he looks like a kid playing Tetris. And this guy is like gushing about Julian and how he's so great at what he does. So RSD is not, I knew that I could not go to them for accountability. And that's why I just reached out and I said, you know, the only way to take somebody like him down is public shame. It is to show that anybody associated with a person, an organization like this, is tarnishing their own name. I know this is giving him more publicity, and hopefully, but hopefully it is the type of publicity that will shut shitbags like Julian Blank and organizations like RSD down. Because personally, as an Asian girl, I am so tired of this BS. I don't need guys like him perpetuating this type of crap. There's enough of it in the world. So that... Uh, those are my thoughts, and hopefully that covered everything. Da, 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 da. Oh, and another thing. Uh, shit. <laughs>